Because love will take you way further than the law ever could. I'll prove it to you. Let's say your child is in a horrible accident. Let's say they bust their head wide open on the monkey bars. And they fall off the monkey bars. And monkey bars are like 30 feet high. I'm making this an extreme example. And they fall down and they bust their head wide open. And you scoop them up and put them in the car to get them to the emergency room. And on the way to the emergency room, every sign you see says uh, speed limit. How much attention do you pay to the numbers beneath the speed limit in that moment? Those numbers mean nothing to you. Why? Because somebody that you love is in trouble. And in that moment, any parent will break the law for the sake of love. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Any human parent will break the law for the sake of love. And what will really turn your heart to God is not when you hear his laws, which were given for our good, by the way, but they were powerless because there wasn't enough leverage in our action to keep the law. So what God did when he sent his son, and this is why we get excited in church, and this is why tears fill our eyes when we think about Jesus, and this is why the gospel is still good news in the world today, because God broke the law for love. I said to every sinner, God broke the law for love. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Serve so that other people can meet Christ. If you know Jesus, I am sorry to break it to you. This church is not for you.